This is going to be a game changer for language learners. ChatGPT just released custom GPTs, which let you make your own personalized AI, specialized to help you at almost any task you might need, including language learning. We've seen the basic ChatGPT fail in many language use cases before, but now you're going to be able to train your own GPTs for your specific language needs, and this is going to make AI 10 times more powerful for language learners. So after weeks of testing, let me show you how custom GPTs will help you become fluent faster, walk you through how to make your own GPT for your specific language needs, and give you some warnings to avoid to take advantage of these language AI in the right way. Starting with the first question, how can custom GPTs help you become fluent faster? Let's start with the most common complaints I get from friends that are learning Spanish or other languages. I have no one to practice with. I'm afraid of making mistakes in conversations. Books are boring and not related to my interests. Classes don't teach me how real natives speak. And I have a busy life and need something that's more flexible. These reasons often hold language learners back from achieving their goals. But imagine that you had something like this first language learning AI, language corrector coach. Let's settle the debate about who is faster. Flash or Superman, Spanish Intermediate. Es un tema muy interesante. Flash y Superman son personajes icónicos con habilidades impresionantes. Según los cómics, Flash es conocido por su velocidad extraordinaria, a menudo considerada mayor que la de Superman. Sin embargo, Superman tiene otras habilidades que complementan su velocidad, como la fuerza y la capacidad de volar. ¿Quién crees que ganaría en una carrera y por qué? Creo Flash porque más velocidad tiene de Superman. Correction. Creo que Flash gana porque tiene más velocidad que Superman. In Spanish, creo que is used to express belief or opinion, and más velocidad que is the correct comparative structure for more speed than. Not bad. So here's what just happened. I fired up Language Corrector Coach, which is an AI that's trained to have conversations with you in different languages and correct you along the way. All you need to do is say or type a topic, give it a target language, and optionally tell it a difficulty level like intermediate or B2. And just like that, the AI will kick off a conversation with you in the target language. And whenever you make a grammatical mistake, the AI will correct you, tell you how to fix the mistake for the next time around and then continue the conversation to help you practice the language all while you're focused on a topic that you actually like and we'll have all the ai from this video in the description for you to try but let's see why this language corrector coach is such a powerful tool my creator is a genius imagine that you're an intermediate spanish student and you're trying to push your Spanish to the next level through conversation. But you always trip up because there are just some words that you haven't learned in Spanish yet, which prevents you from having a fluid conversation. Well, you could fire up the language corrector coach and speak the Spanish you know, and make mistakes where you have gaps in your Spanish without worrying, even filling in English if you need to. And the coach will correct you to help you fill in the gaps in your Spanish. Take a look at this, tips for finding balance in life from Star Wars, Spanish advanced. Correction. Consejos para encontrar equilibrio en la vida desde Star Wars en español avanzado. Star Wars ofrece varias lecciones sobre el equilibrio en la vida. Por ejemplo, el concepto de la fuerza abarca el equilibrio entre el lado luminoso y el oscuro, similar a cómo debemos equilibrar aspectos positivos y negativos en nuestras vidas. ¿Cuál es, es tu personaje favorito de Star Wars y por qué? Creo que Yoda enseña cómo tener balance and contentment. Correction. Creo que Yoda nos enseña cómo tener equilibrio y contentamiento. Yoda, con su sabiduría y sus frases memorables, ciertamente enseña sobre la importancia del equilibrio emocional y la paz interior. Pretty solid. So with this AI coach, I can just talk about what I find interesting or what's on my mind. And if I slip up on my Spanish or another language, the AI coach will help me course correct bit by bit until I get on the right track and I'm speaking without making mistakes. Now, this is great if you have enough experience with the language to say some basic things. But what if you're a complete beginner who can't really form a sentence and just know a few words? Well, then this AI, the language conversation guide might be the right one for you. Take a look at this. Why is Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender such a buen role model? Why is Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender such a good role model? ¿Por qué el tío Iro de Avatar The Last Airbender es un buen modelo a seguir? He shows wisdom, kindness, and resilience. Why do you think his wisdom stands out? Muestra sabiduría, bondad y resiliencia. ¿Por qué crees que su sabiduría destaca? 
not bad. So this AI assumes that you're just starting to have basic conversations in your target language and that you still need a decent amount of guidance to understand and speak. So what it will do is it will always repeat what you said in both English and in your target language, and then it will respond to you in English and in your target language. You can think of this as a sort of Netflix with subtitles always on, but for conversations. It's a training wheel to help you get started speaking. And then as you get better, you can switch to the language corrector coach where you sort of turn off the subtitles and just get help when you need it. So with language conversation guide, you can have conversations with very little background knowledge in your target language. And you can sometimes even mix in English if you're lost to keep things flowing. What is la Katniss's special skills in the Hunger Games? What are Katniss's special skills in the Hunger Games? ¿Y cuáles son las habilidades especiales de Katniss en los Juegos del Hambre? Katniss is skilled in archery, hunting, and foraging. Do you find her survival skills impressive? Katniss tiene habilidades en arquería, caza y recolección. ¿Te parecen impresionantes sus habilidades de supervivencia? Not bad. Okay, so these are some useful AI for practicing speaking, but what if you want to practice another critical part of language learning? Vocabulary. Well, this AI might be perfect for you then. The Language Game Buddy. Take a look at this. Jeopardy in Spanish with the theme, The Dark Knight Rises. Let's play Jeopardy in Spanish. Since you've chosen The Dark Knight Rises as a theme, I'll tailor the categories and questions around elements related to this movie, but all in Spanish. Here's your game board. Personajes 400. Este personaje, interpretado por Anne Hathaway, tiene una doble vida como una astuta ladrona. ¿Cómo se llama? That's Catwoman. ¿Quién es Catwoman? ¿Quién es Catwoman? Es la respuesta correcta. And Hathaway interpretó a Catwoman, conocida también como Selina Kyle, in The Dark Knight Rises. Tu puntuación ahora es de 400 puntos. Buen trabajo. Aquí está el tablero actualizado. And just like that, you'd be off playing Jeopardy by yourself or with a group of friends to practice vocabulary. But the language game buddy knows way more than just Jeopardy. Try asking it what games it knows, and it'll tell you a bunch of the options it's learned so far. What games do you know? I'm the language game buddy here to help you become more fluent by playing games. Here are the games I know, along with the instructions for choosing and starting a game. Another great language game it knows is Pictionary, where we'll draw images for you and have you guess them in your target language. Spanish Pictionary related to the gym. Let's play Pictionary in Spanish, focusing on words related to the gym. I'll draw something related to the gym and you'll have to guess what it is in Spanish. After each guess, I'll reveal the answer and your score. Ready for round one? Here we go. And it's drawing an image right now. Can you guess what this gym related item is in Spanish? The treadmill, which is a cinta de correr. Nice. Correcto. La respuesta es cinta de correr treadmill. Round one, total score, two points. So as the AI draws images for me to guess in Spanish, I get to practice vocabulary as a sort of fun side effect. Then you have the classic game of odd word out where language game buddy will give you a group of words and you'll have to choose the word that doesn't belong and tell the AI why to test your vocabulary. Let's do beginner odd word out in Spanish. Great choice. Let's play odd word out in beginner Spanish. I'll give you a group of words, and your task is to find the one that doesn't belong and guess the theme. So my words are gato, perro, manzana, and pájaro. Theme is animals, manzana. You're right, the theme is animals, and manzana is the odd one out as it's a fruit, not an animal. Two points for the correct word and one point for the correct theme. And finally, for the especially brave, you have the game of categories where Language Game Buddy will give you a category, and you'll have to write a word in that category in your target language that starts with the last letter of the previous word. And this is a pretty hard game. Let's play categories in advanced Spanish. Para empezar, elijo la categoría animales. Mi primera palabra es elefante. Ahora tú dices una palabra de animal que comience con la última letra de elefante, que es E. These three AI are just a small taste of what you're going to be able to do with these custom GPTs. And I will be sharing all of these AI, along with some others that I'm working on, with everyone that joins the channel's newly launched Patreon as a way to say thank you for supporting the channel and to help you on your language journey. But for anyone who wants to build these yourself from scratch, let me show you how to make your own. Starting by jumping to chat.openai.com, clicking on explore, then create a GPT. Head to configure, then you give your GPT a name along with a description. We're going to make a basic version of the Jeopardy game as an example for this walkthrough. So I'll call this language Jeopardy demo. And we'll make the description a Jeopardy game to help you practice languages. 
Then we can go back up here to fill in the icon where you can upload your own or have one created for you using Dolly. Now we come to instructions where we make all the magic happen. This is where you'll teach your AI how to act and respond. You can spend a lot of time crafting the perfect instructions. And this is where most of the weeks of work went into to build those AI I showed you from the Patreon. But for this example, we'll keep it simple and just use a basic prompt. Now you come here and give a few sample conversation starters so that you can use your AI with one click. Let's put Let's Play Jeopardy, Beginner, and Jeopardy for Spanish, Intermediate. If you wanna get really advanced, you can also fill out this optional knowledge section by uploading custom data sets to make sure the AI gives you really strong answers. We'll skip this for now to keep it simple. I only uploaded custom data sets for the AI on the Patreon just to make them as good as I could since I was making those public, but these aren't make or break for your personal AI. There's also this action section where you can connect ChatGPT to apps like Zapier to do automations, but we'll also skip this since most language AIs won't need this. And as you're building the AI, you can test it on this right panel here just to make sure it's working as you want and you can keep adjusting until the AI feels great. Finally, publish your AI by going here and you can keep it private to just you, let people with the link see it or make it fully public in the GPT database for other people to find. And you are ready to use your custom language GPT. Just go back to the main interface and click here on the side or click explore to find your AI. And on mobile, you can find your most recently used AI on the side panel here. So now we can say, let's play Jeopardy in Spanish. It goes, great choice, let's play Jeopardy in Spanish. First, I'll set up the game board with five categories and point values ranging from 200 to 1,000. And it's setting up the game board now. And now it asks me to choose a category and a point value. Vocabulario, 400. Como se dice, book en español. So let's get this one right. Libro. And there it goes, updating the game board. And if I get one wrong, gramática, 800. There's my question. Complete the following sentence with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Let's see if I get it wrong. Nosotros veamos. That's not right. There we go. So it's so that I got it wrong. And it teaches me. And now it updates the game board and puts the questions that I got right and the ones that I got wrong. So this AI is pretty simple, but it works as a starting point. With some tweaking and trial and error, you can really make some powerful language AI that will help you become fluent a lot faster. And if you want to skip doing this yourself and just get the fully built AI that I create, you can always join the Patreon whenever you're ready and I'll be sharing all of my AI there. Now here are some warnings to keep in mind to make sure you're getting the most from your custom language AIs. First, you'll need a paid version of ChatGPT to make or use custom GPTs. I hope that these features expand to the free version soon, but for now they're only for Plus users. So you might need to be more patient if you don't have Plus. The second tip is to pick one task that you want your custom GPT to specialize at. Rather than making one AI that can play games, have conversations, write essays, and help you score quizzes, consider splitting different language tasks into different AIs, and that'll help you build specialized language assistants that are great at one thing instead of average at a lot. Now, if you're curious about how to use some of the voice features on ChatGPT that you saw in this video for free, then check out this video where I break down how to use ChatGPT with voice in order to practice speaking and become more fluent in conversations using their new features. I'll see you there and hasta la próxima.